model of online classes uh, to teach Bharatanatyam and to learn Bharatanatyam is not something new. Many teachers and students have been teaching and learning respectively through this medium even before the pandemic and I think uh, they have been pretty successful in uh, not giving up the quality of the art form but at the same time being able to educate students uh, all over the world and um, personally for me the concept of online classes has been very rewarding and I consider it as a very valuable thing for me right now especially with the pandemic um, I still have access to my teachers and um, I'm able to dance every day though it is in Indian timings but still uh, it gives me great motivation to keep myself uh, in practice and at the same time I'm happy I'm able to educate students all over the world uh, people who are interested to um, understand my approach. It's a dialogue that keeps me engaged and keeps me thinking during this difficult time. So for me, I think um, it is a very interesting experience and I definitely uh, vote for it. Um, for some, it is not working. I think uh, it involves a lot of self-motivation. So for those who have the energy to be motivated and learn through a screen, or teach through a screen, I think online classes work. Learning versus teaching online um, are two different experiences for me. When I take classes from my teachers online, um, I have complete focus and uh, concentration because I take only three, three, I meet them only thrice a week and uh, I cannot take that for granted. So that time for me is very precious. And um, I try to give my 100% while I practice with them, while um, I learn something from them so that it actually retains. Because um, again, it's an online platform and for you to, uh, the, the level of retention generally is less. Uh, when compared to on-ground or in-person classes. On the other hand, um, I think when I teach online, again, it is a very exhausting process because um, I have to literally look at their techniques and give them corrections and feedback through a screen. Um, though the cameras are great, I mean, technology is really good here, the internet connection is very good here, thankfully. Um, sometimes I do have technical glitches, but however, I think it is about completely submitting yourself to both teaching and learning when it comes to online. So for me, it creates a sense of uh, discipline and uh, focus and uh, it uses a lot of, of my energy as well. So I think in terms of that, I have uh, learned a lot trying to understand how students learn, how someone learns from you um, when you're trying to use a particular way of teaching. So it's been a great learning experience that way. I don't use any particular method. I think one thing that I uh, compel my students to do and I also make them do in my classes uh, is the practice of yoga. A fit body helps you be motivated to learn better and learn more especially when you're learning through a screen. So that I think complements the practice of dance a lot. I learn from my teacher, Sri Ranjit Babu. I do yoga every day and it has immensely helped me in improving my body stability, stamina, and it's greatly helped me in my practice of dance. I should thank my teachers uh, Sri Ranjit Babu and Sri Mati Vijana Vasudevan for making my online classes very interesting. For us, um, the sessions are never about only dance, it's beyond the physical practice. We are exposed to talks, discussions, um, we are asked opinions about a particular piece, what we think, uh, what our thought process is like in terms of choreography. We are given material to read and uh, I think the entire uh, approach is more than just dancing and looking at it as a knowledge system that has definitely made me think and um, make me question 
so i try to apply something similar to those who learn from me um so i i give them books materials um i give them weekly exercises in fact we have monthly challenges on the group so this really helps in creating a sense of community and um, the fact that you belong to some group that uh, wants to evolve wants to learn and uh, it creates a kind of enthusiasm um, and not just coming and sweating it out in every class and it also greatly impacts in the relationship between the teacher and the students where you are able to have a dialogue where you are able to question where you are able to think where you are able to dispute so i think all these kinds of dialogues are important and that helps me create a very interesting relationship beyond the class i have personally faced a couple of challenges when it comes to online classes um of course the technical glitches i mean i think they come along with any kind of um, online platform um so sometimes the zoom crashes sometimes i'm not able to listen to the other person the student is not able to see the teacher because i live in an apartment there is a space constraint um so if it is going to be an in person or an on ground class i think things get done quickly um we don't use a lot of time especially when i have to give feedback in terms of technique um if i have to get feedback from my teachers it takes longer for me to understand what they are showing and for me to be able to translate that into my body so um i think that's one major challenge and second thing is the the vibe that in person classes create right like you are dancing with 10 other dancers and uh, that is an entirely different experience it's very enriching it's very motivating it's exciting whereas if you're here all by yourself um you're alone you're watching your teachers or you're, you're looking at your students um through a small screen so sometimes it can get uh taxing and exhausting um for especially for me when i have to take classes for beginners it takes a very long time because uh, it is a challenge to correct their posture alignment and uh, it takes a very long time for me to uh, help them and i cannot also ignore uh, those technical mistakes or like these corrections that i have to make and i think it's very important <laughs> that uh, i address it so these are a couple of challenges and i also think um, sometimes the attention span is very less when it comes to online classes i have to make sure that uh, the students continuously interact with me uh, they communicate and they i also ask them once in a while whether they have any questions so if the classes are not made interactive um, the students can very easily zone out i think it the same uh, applies to learning from someone as well yes the digital medium is here to stay i think uh, we all have realized that uh, by now however i think it is important we take up these classes seriously um, realize the luxury of being able to learn an art form that is so valuable that is so ancient um, through a small screen so i think when we understand the whole purpose and uh, what we want to achieve with this art form i think we will create that discipline in us to be focused and to uh, learn the art form like a professional and not just take it up like an online dance class i think it should go beyond that for us to realize that um, this is a big privilege that we all have uh, to be able to do this right from our homes so if that um, attitude prevails i think even after things get normal um we will have a productive exchange of ideas uh, of sharing our knowledge both as a teacher and as a student